Okay, I have to do another reading today because this moon, I think, is kicking my ass. Um, and there's just, like, way too many synchronicities happening or something like that. Um, some of my friends know that this card has been sort of haunting me. He, like, keeps showing up, the Page of Wands. And as I was getting ready to sit down again to read, my intention was to pull this card out of the deck and to give him a nice little home right here. Um, and he literally like was on top of the deck. This card has been showing up in sort of the underneath position in some of my previous readings. He's come up in other readers' readings one of my favorite readers on YouTube went on a rant about him. This page of wands. And so I would just like to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> the page of wands, you know, is the energy of sort of lightheartedness, not taking yourself too seriously, seeing the opportunity in things. Um, somebody who's very inspired, but in a, in a very sort of new way. And then we have also underneath the Nine of Wands. This energy has been coming up a lot too. This is about struggling. This resonates for me and maybe for a lot of people right now. Why are we struggling with this, this light energy? It's either, it could represent either something that's holding us back or this not knowing how to proceed. The previous reading I just did was about doing things in a different way. And so we, some of us might be struggling about how to express ourselves differently. <sighs> yeah, so it is also like creative energy, the page of wands. Um, I'm trying something different right now. I have a, a playlist that I've been working on all year or for most of the year. It's playing in the background. I usually play some kind of music, like meditative music. But this playlist, all of a sudden today, is making way more sense to me with maybe this like slightly altered perspective. This like new perspective. Going back to the moon deck. What does the collective need to know right now about this page of wands? Why is his energy here all the time? Man, I've been feeling anxious all morning and the minute I said that, this is like this wash over me. Just very calm. All right, so this feels good. Let's see what we can do. I'll make this playlist available online, by the way. I don't know if you can hear it or if this will boot this video off of YouTube, but I don't care. It's time to take action. A time for healing. Your dreams need a practical plan. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that this came out yesterday, the, f the full moon Taurus. In fact, it came out the last two nights in a row as I've been reading for myself and for the channel. New Moon and Aries came out for me yesterday, a time for healing. So what I'm really strongly getting is that this is about balancing the feeling of needing to be productive in some way, like moving forward. That's the page. Alright, he's sort of looking at the stick all inspired, like. And it's a struggle. There's some sort of like struggle here. Possibly something about balancing this need to take action with a time for rest. This is a pretty weird oscillation. I feel like it can cause a lot of anxiety. Your dreams need a practical plan. 
they say the full moon in Gemini today is really good for sort of a, just attacking your to-do list. Do some practical things that m will make you feel like you're progressing. You know, g taking care of a few things. I get a lot of satisfaction from like writing things down on a piece of paper on a list and then crossing it out. Even if I've, I've already done it, I'll like go back or like reflect on the day and say, especially if I feel like I didn't do anything, I'll just go and write that list of the things I did do and just cross them off. Because <laughs> that feels good to me. Oh man, also underneath, a fiery climax approaches full moon Aries. Full moon and new moon Aries. Yeah. There's, pro there's probably a lot of intensity right now. Everyone's dealing with something. Ooh, no. I've got my Modern Witch Tarot deck over here, which is a really interesting deck. I love it. It's pretty large. But also, I just love the voice of this deck. This is all about our emotions here, so. Oh, look at that. She's been coming out. Okay. You know, it's been a month since Neptune went direct, if you remember that. And um, so we've had about a month of the energy of slipping back into our dreams. The things that we want, like this dreamy sort of daydreamy energy. Maybe we have like our sights set on something for the new year, an intention of a, a direction to go in, a, a good idea for a direction to go in. And it might be so um, appealing that we feel held back when we can't action on them right away. When we can't go for the instantly gratifying option. I think it is about healing that impulsivity, right? That's a big theme for today. Impulsivity. Be practical. Just work with the energy. For me, that looked like I couldn't sleep last night, so for me, that was staying up till 2 in the morning. Creating this space, just like changing, changing what the space looks like, cleaning, refreshing. Okay. Seven of Wands. Hmm. Well, two of pentacles, three of cups, ten of pentacles. Whoopsie, two came out. Yeah, okay. It's the nine of wands again. Okay. Oh my god. The seven of wands underneath kind of just tells me that um, we have what it takes to, you know, we have the upper hand as in we have what it takes to deal with whatever is on our plate right now. It is a bit of, a little bit of stubborn energy to sort of like stand up for yourself a little bit here. If this is about balancing time for healing for resting for sort of building yourself up for the things that you really want versus this impulsive energy of just going for something that that feels good in the moment but isn't really 
good in the long term. I do, see there's, the, I mean there's the two, there's the balance, right? It's like which one are you going to choose? Maybe you're trying to balance both things. Um, there's a lot of should. I should do this, now I should do that, now I should do this, and now I should do that. What is your definition of should? Because I feel like what we should be doing here, the energy that's showing up is planning long term. Yeah, in the present then there's the Eight of Cups, the Hermit, Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is sort of moving towards the Hermit here. Eight of Cups also moving towards the Hermit. A nine. All right, this card came out earlier too in a different deck. This is about standing firm in what you believe, but at the same time looking, looking at those beliefs, moving away from a situation that was hurtful or, or draining or, or something that just wasn't good for you. I see you sort of moving away from that because there, you have your future here is sort of showing up in the past or something. So now's the time to really look at what is what is leading the charge towards that. What's going to get you the thing that you want? Is it a time for action? Or is it a time for rest? I think, like, be honest with yourself about that. What's your motivation for pushing through at all costs? Or what's the reason for resting? Like, resting could be laziness disguised. Also, productivity can be um, resistance disguised. That's, the, that's sort of the Seven of Wands energy here. Like, are you defending your behaviors through some sort of mask? This is like, this is defensiveness. Are you being overly defensive about something? What Spirit is saying here in the in the future is sort of like, look at this, go boldly forward, but into yourself. Hmm. The action is within. Uh, nine of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune in the future. There's maybe something lingering from the past that's been a struggle to get through. But I feel like if, if in the present you are doing this work, then the Wheel of Fortune is just saying, yes, this is a cycle, and yes, you're working through it. There's like, that, and then we have the past and the future. Look at that. Six of Cups it could be like nostalgia or like looking fondly at something from our past. That's a cycle. A past cycle appearing in the, fu in the near future. And then the future in the past. Showing up in the past. And then you're here in the center trying to follow your... <laughs> Your light. The hermit is is illuminated by illuminates her path with the star that's in the her star necklace, which is actually the same star from the star card, which appeared in the center in this morning's read, and it, it is appearing in the center column under a time for healing.
So a message I'm getting right now is, um, should, and the word should just came out in the song. Yeah, what do you think you should be doing? Like, answer that question for yourself right now. What, what should you be doing? And why are you telling yourself that? Someone, someone's looking for like a, a little eureka moment. Where is it? All right, let's clarify. Seven of Wands. King of Wands. <laughs> King of Wands was showing up again too. King of Wands is portrayed sort of as, you know, someone with ideal partner traits. So in this case, if this is about lovers looking for a partner, then there might be something about this idea of like, oh no, but I should be with this kind of person. Are you telling yourself that? Are you saying you deserve a certain kind of person? The King of Wands, I love his energy because he's, um, he's a very big picture thinker. He can see sort of how things are connected. It's very easy for him to take action. He's not taking action himself, but rather through through delegation, through inspiring others, is how he creates change. Interesting. Let's look at the two of pentacles in the recent past. Death. Three of cups. Knight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Wow! <laughs> okay, so... In the recent past... Uh, uh, continuing from, from earlier today's message changing how you approach things there's something here two of pentacles is how you balance things what's coming at you so death is about transforming like letting something go and giving something new life it is a little transformation so literally how you are approaching things now is changing page of wands knight of wands king of wands you see how this, there's like a progression here It's almost like once something does successfully transform, you're sort of thrown into the future here, the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups could be, you know, romantic connotation of a card, but it could also just feel like feeling full within and content within yourself, having so much that your cup just overflows. This is also how we can inspire others too, is by taking care of ourselves, doing good things to ourselves and for ourselves. I like the saying, when one are healed, all are healed. Isn't that the truth? In the present, Eight of Cups. Uh huh. Five of Pentacles. The Hermit. Ouch. Ten of Swords. Knight of Swords. The Magician. I just got really nervous. Um, five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Magician. So... This is a deeply personal transformation, first of all, from look how we have the Five of Pentacles and the Magician. These are sort of like opposite energies. The Magician knows he has everything he needs to manifest the life he wants. The Five of Pentacles is the mentality that uh, state of lack. And what's in the middle here is this sort of the card representing destructive thought patterns 
it is, I mean, it's the 10, so it's, it's the end. This is part of the transformation, is sort of like this, this mental cycle. Between scarcity and abundance, powerlessness and power. How do we associate those things? Between progress and rest. Rest can be progressive and also um, ambition can be can can set us back. This is why the word should is really on my mind right now, because it's like, what should, you know, what is should? Something about needing, like, damn, like, holding up a mirror or something. How are you? You see, there was like the the three of cups here is about community and celebration, really. But it's it's also about like how are you showing up in the world? Um, there's two tens on the board, two. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. It's almost like how we show up in the world. Shows us. Where we're headed. It's almost like our, beha our behaviors do reveal. and encourage certain energies. It's almost like what you think shows up in the world. So the Ten of Pentacles, right? This is the future appearing in the past. The magician, like we are trying to manifest our futures. This is like what we're, we're, we're alive to have some sort of journey here. Go after the things that we want. But also it is about the journey Five of Pentacles could be the feeling of like out of time. Feeling like you're out of time. Wheel of Fortune shows up saying that there is time or things take time. What is going on with this reading? Nine of Wands, please. Queen of Swords. Yeah, so how you deal how do you deal with struggling between the oscillation of progress and rest is is be a little more discerning queen of swords is about smart business moves you know maybe instinctually intuitively what your ten of pentacles and the ace of cups what these cards mean to you you want to manifest that but it's almost like You don't, maybe you don't yet have all the resources, like we don't have the skills yet to just, for that to appear. It's until you start cutting out the necessary, the unnecessary things, the things that are, that are making your path feel a little bit heavier. This is a time to feel lighthearted again. This is about not taking yourself too seriously, just trying to find the... almost airy <laughs> qualities of transformation. Six of Cups, please. Ace of Pentacles. There you go. The past illuminating the future opportunities. The message here might be where, where you've been is not where you're going, but it sure looking at the past shows us a lot of options I think if you're trying to manifest something totally new here it is you know be a new person 
literally be a new person. Eight of Cups is about some sort of emotional transformation. Ten of Swords, the end of cognitive dissonance or some sort of destructive cycle. The Hermit, literally going within to, to seek wisdom. Death and the Magician. This is a huge, this is a big deal. Show me the Wheel of Fortune. King of Cups. Ooh. The King of Cups is like the solid foundation. Nothing can rock him. He knows when to share his emotions, when not to. Very secure. And feel, you know, feeling at home. Somebody like this, with this quality, does have a good balance between knowing when to take action and knowing when to take a rest. He, know, he knows maybe how to protect himself pretty well. My goodness. So what are some final messages about this Page of Wands? What, what are we doing here? The sun, ten of cups, the fool. <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> um, this does go along with this morning's reading, so I would say go back and read that, watch that, if you if this resonates. The reason the page of wands is showing up and why we seem to be struggling so much is sun we're sun in the ten of cups we're really meant to embrace joy right now if this energy is making you feel more alive than normal right like if you're feeling pretty good right now i think the challenge is to take this progressed energy into something practi practical and meaningful for your day-to-day -day if you feel like it's been a very anxious time. It is sort of like high octane here. <laughs> See how you can like lessen the weight of it. Um, and in, in that case, I would say the, the opposite might be true. Try to be a little lenient on your shoulds. What should you be doing right now? Happiness wants to come in if you're willing to look at it from a new perspective, from this fresh perspective, the Page of Wands. But a lot of people are struggling. This Nine of Wands is like haunting as well with the page. Does this make sense to, to you guys out there? Show me something about this new opportunity here, this Ace of Pentacles that shows up. This is the past again showing up in the future, an opportunity. This could be... I don't know. So if something comes up from your past, it's almost like it is, it is an old cycle, but you're, you're meaning to show up here as the King of Cups. So what is this opportunity that's coming? in what seems like a matter of time. The Empress. Venus. Love. Venus is in retrograde. Don't try it. Four of Wands. Home. Stability. Okay, so a couple messages. I feel like there's something, this new opportunity here in the near future, right, that is somehow linked to your past. It might just be because it's 
It's something you've been investing a lot of time into. This is something you've been planning for. Is maybe finally coming to... Is finally turning into some sort of real opportunity. The, the energy around this is extremely positive. It's the Empress and the Four of Wands. This is something that maybe you've been trying to build up your own solid structure here. Something to grow. Maybe you've been growing and you have your own new solid structure. And that's why this ending, this, this final thing is the King of Cups. Whatever this cycle is about, that's coming to a head. I mean, specifically with this full moon today. I think in time, in time it'll make you feel more grounded. The King of Cups oddly has like like big earth energy to me. Just very Ah, oh, he can ride the waves of his emotions and it won't stir him. He understands that um, intense emotions are are data points. It's it's illuminating his dreams, his desires, his fears. It's illuminating. So look out for some opportunity here to enjoy the fruit of your planning. What have you been planning the last six months since the Gemini new moon up until now? There's something here showing up as an, as an opportunity. Show me the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's the Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, the Star. Again, the, I feel I sense like past energies showing up here in the future. It, I think it's just saying that this is this being the end of the cycle. The cycle being, again, something you've worked very hard on, um, because the Ten of Swords showed up earlier. This is sort of like a, a cognitive cycle. Something, something about how you've been approaching things that um, worry you or concern you. Um, you've been working to heal that. It's almost like mental health. Working on your mental health. It is our brains that say should, 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 should. It's about healing that and becoming the King of Cups. All right. Go look up the King of Cups and, um, and read all about him. See if you can embody this dude today. That'll be great for everybody. Okay. Maybe the Page of Wands will leave me alone now. I swear to God, he's been showing up um, for weeks. For weeks. And... Um, Every time he shows up, I show my friends because I'm like, what is going on with this? Did we get the message? Was this it? Was this, is this going to be the end of <laughs> the Page of Wands? Uh, thanks for watching. I'll post that playlist below if you're interested. <sighs> now the song is saying, are you coming with me? If you're coming with me, I guess uh, subscribe and uh, watch... When you watch the videos, give it a like so that I can actually see how many people are seeing these. Um, thank you so much.